Hello. We'll now see the IC Max 232, which is the interfacing IC from microcontroller to PC COM port, that is communication port. In it's normally to a DV9 connector, and we call that PC COM port COM1 or COM2. Detailed description. The MAX232 comes from a family of line drivers and receivers and is intended for all IA, TIA, 232E and V28, V24 communication interfaces, particularly applications where 12 volt is not available, like our microcontroller project. It contains three sections, dual charge dual charge from DC to DC voltage converter, RS-232 driver and RS-232 receivers. Now what is the dual charge pump voltage converter? It has two internal charge pump that convert 5 volt because we feed ultimately the 5 volt and it converts plus 5 volts to plus 10 volts unloaded. Of course, while it is not loaded, you get around 10 volts here for RS232 try driver operation because the driver we need more than 5 volts that's about 10 volts. The first converter uses C1 this particular capacitor to double the plus 5 volt to plus 10 volt to double the plus 5 volt to plus 10 volts on C3 on this capacitor at the V plus output with respect to V plus output this develops plus 10 volts. The second converter uses capacitor C2, uses capacitor C2, this one, to invert plus 10 volt to minus 10 volt on C4 here at the V minus output. These voltages are for internal circuit use. However, a small amount of power may be drawn from the 10 volt plus and minus 10 volt outputs to power external circuitry but in our case we are not uh, using. Now looking at the block diagram we discussed about the voltage doubler plus 10 volts minus 10 volts from 5 volts that we are getting and then we come to the RS-232 driver. The typical driver output voltage swing is plus or minus 8 volt when loaded with a nominal 5 kilo ohm resistor. Though it is open circuit voltage is 10 volts, but the driver output voltage swing is plus or minus 8 volts with a 5k load. RS-232 receiver at VCC 5 volts when, when you are operating at 5 volts. Output swing is guaranteed for plus or minus 5 volt minimum driver output levels under the worst case conditions. These include a minimum of 3 kilo ohm load that is VCC is equal to 4.5 volts and maximum operating at maximum operating temperature. Unloaded driver output voltages from V plus minus 1.3 volts to V minus 0 0.5 volts. Input thresholds are both TTL and CMOS compatible. The inputs of unused drivers, now supposing we are not using some of the drivers, can be left unconnected since 400 ohms pull up registers to the VCC are uh, built in. All the inputs are built in with pull-up registers. The pull-up registers force the output, force the output of unused drivers low, obviously because they are all inverters. Now the RS-232 receivers. The specifications define a voltage level greater than 3 volt as logic 0. So all the receivers invert. Input thresholds are set at 0.8 volts and 2.4 volts 
so the receivers respond to TTL level inputs as well as these standards. Now, so what we find is that pin number 9, 10, 11, 12, these are meant for interfacing to the microcontroller and pin number 8, 13, 7, 14 are meant for interfacing to the RS-232 that is the communication port of the computer. Since our microcontroller has got one RX and TX pins, we use pin number 11 and pin number 12 or pin number 10 and pin number 9. So this is what the standard practice. We use pin number 11 and pin number 12. Pin number 11 and pin number 12. These two pins are not used. These two pins 11 and 12 correspondingly go to the RXTX pin of the microcontroller and then their corresponding output that is pin number 14 and pin number 13 are given to the RS-232 port, the DB9 port. And that is how the communication takes place comfortably from the microcontroller which operates at 5 volt to the computer which requires plus or minus 12 volt as far as the communication is concerned. Thank you.